welcome to the Mount Diablo State Park. This hike is a combination of the Juniper and Summit Trail, and I recommend this hike if you've never been to Mount Diablo before. This out and back trail is only two miles long with an elevation gain of 800 feet. I entered through the North Gate in Walnut Creek and something to be aware of on the drive up to the parking lot is that there's some tight turns and you'll be sharing the road with bikers. I parked at the Juniper Campground open lot and started my hike from there. This trail is a mix of some challenging steep parts, beautiful nature and amazing 360 degree views from the top. On a clear day, you can see all the way from the snow-capped Sierra Nevada mountains to San Francisco and the Golden Gate Bridge. Something to know before you go is that it's $10 to get in and is open from 8 a.m. to sunset. Make sure to be in your car and heading out at sunset to avoid being locked in the park. Alcohol is prohibited, bikes are allowed on paved roads, no skateboards, rollerblades, or gravity propelled devices, Dogs are not allowed on trails and no drones. There are many different hikes in the park. Just make sure to do your research before you go. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Erin. I went on a hike to Mount Diablo State Park and these are the things that I would bring. I definitely bring a lot of clothing because when I went in the morning, there was supposed to be snow flurries and I would bring hiking boots because some parts of the trail are really steep. I even saw some people using walking sticks. Wow, okay, that's really good information. Thanks for that. And come join me next time because my adventure awaits. Awesome, bye.